good ad, especially since there's people with 20 year old McDonald's burgers unmolded. Hey guys, I actually wrote about this ad campaign last year and it has to do with something called water activity. So water activity is not the same as moisture. Water activity is basically a measurement of the available water in a food product that is able to react with the outside world. Uh. Controlling water activity has been used for a really long time for food preservation. We've been dehydrating foods to reduce the water activities so that microorganisms can't grow because under a certain water activity, if there isn't enough water for a microorganism to grow, then there won't be any mold and there won't be any bacteria growth. And so that's what happens when a product sits out in the environment and the moisture moves from the product into the air, drying it out and essentially preserving it. And that's what's happened to the immortal fast food meal or the immortal Twinkie you might have seen in the news. Here's just a little bit more of an explanation on water activity. So you can see here, up here, these are microorganisms that could grow if water activity is above these values. And then this just kind of shows some common food products and what their water activities are. So as a food scientist, we have to be cognizant of water activity, especially when we have two components coming together in a food product, because like the raisins up here, if they have too high of a water activity in comparison to the flakes, the water is going to migrate from the raisins into the flakes and potentially make the flakes really soggy and the raisins will get rock hard. So we have to make sure when the equilibrium is established that they're both acceptable. And here are some examples that you might be familiar with. So using bread in a cookie jar to keep the cookies moist, bread also in brown sugar to keep the brown sugar moist, and then using rice to dry out clumped up spices. All right, so to circle back to the immortal fast food burger, somebody from Serious Eats actually did a little experiment where they tested a quarter pounder from McDonald's and then a homemade burger just to see what would happen if they would both dry out, if they would both mold, if just the homemade one would mold. And basically what happened was the same thing with both of them, a little bit of mold, on the burger you can see a little bit of mold on the homemade burger before they got a chance to dry out once they dried out the mold stopped and essentially the results were very similar 